picking up the pace. Low on power, AC. Gonna figure out what's going on with all that. Picking up the pace, doing some uh, poking around on this one. Sammy, good old Sammy here. He uh, he's or he's got a battery and some O2 sensors coming. Or I gotta go meet up with him. You got the shit. Hey, you got the shit. You mean stuff? The uh, power stroke is going billet. We got a Wicked Wheel 2. We got a set of bellowed up pipes. Um, what else do we got? A Hydra's coming real soon. There's something else we've ordered. I can't, I can't remember. Billet, Wicked Wheel 2, up pipes. Oh, pedestal delete kit. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna show you guys how to uh, put in a pedestal delete kit, a Wicked Wheel 2, set of bellowed up pipes, how to line it and get the dowel and all the clocking just right and have all that to where it won't leak so it can be maintenance free. We're gonna show you guys how to do all that. You can see right here, we got all his parts clean. Not reusing that. That's, we're gonna modify this and put it on the shelf for a later day. Spider's all cleaned up. His uh, cold pipe and hot pipes all cleaned up, and some more goodies. Right now, we are doing a vacuum test. Uh, not not just a vacuum test. We're also sucking all the moisture and all the impurities and dirt and oil and freon and any kind of atoms of any nature out of the uh, system. We're going to try to. There will still be some residual left over. So this is my vacuum pump. I bought them at a yard sale. It has like a three, three fourths horse motor on it with a uh, pretty big head. I don't like those little new Chinese vacuum pumps. This guy right here, when you turn it on, it kicks over sideways. They just don't make stuff like they used to. Can oil the bearing right there. It pulls down vacuum pretty good on bigger systems too, like with rear AC and whatnot, when I have used it before. Um, my gauges, I don't know what brand gauges these are. I bought these from uh, Slacks and Napa. They're in very nasty condition, but they are good gauges. The hoses are getting a little wore out, but the manifold's holding up pretty good on it. So, a uh, fun fact. 27 kilograms of vacuum is the same pressure outer space is. So, uh, I guess a perfect vacuum would be 30, but it's damn near impossible to achieve a perfect vacuum because you have radiation and radio waves and whatnot, but that's that. Fun fact. So we're gonna back this down. We're gonna start it back up. We're gonna charge it a little, see if we can't get some cold air or, or well, first of all, we're gonna see if it don't leak, but that's where we're at with that. All right, guys, just like that clockwork. Customer just dropped this off with me for the weekend. Um, said he had a little 
scantle of his own, had a cylinder one misfire, and a uh, screechy belt during startup. He also said that he had some kind of EGR code. I have not scanned this vehicle or looked over it much at all. See, it needs a valve cover gasket pretty good. Um, I think the EGR might be doing something funny because he said it's he did a tune up and it's still running rough. So we're gonna we're gonna go off his direction towards the EGR, but we're also going to be looking elsewhere in the meantime. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate to you why this AC system is uh, inoperable right now. All right, to check for leaks one way. Close the valve. Now stare at this gauge. Very closely pay attention to it. That is a big leak. And you can see the needle moving. The second way to find a AC leak is to hook high pressure nitrogen up to your uh, manifold and inject it in the system and listen and find a pinhole leak or you'll hear it blowing. But that is, that is the other way. And you use nitrogen because it does not hurt the receiver dryers or the accumulators or any of the seals or whatnot. And it doesn't have moisture, it's dry and it, uh, it's not flammable. So I just installed a head unit in the uh, old body style starter kit truck and some, uh, let me turn it down, put a Pioneer head unit in, had a nice little wiring kit, everything was plug and play, color matched. Um, don't make fun of me for the hack job solder, but I can't find my soldering iron. So I literally used a map gas bottle and a pick. I was able to apply the solder. Now I'm going to mark my four holes, drill it out, and use the new mounting hardware. Pretty big.